They were saying that I couldn't be a feminist and... And have boobs. And have boobs. That's not yeah. true. It's safe to say that Emma Watson doesn't take crap from anyone these days. As someone who uses her platform to talk about world issues, she's definitely no stranger to backlash from those who disagree with her. And just like the strong women she plays on screen, Emma does not back down. And to prove it, we are counting down the seven times Emma shut down her haters right here on Listed. It didn't take long for Emma to defend herself after her Vanity Fair controversy, and she ultimately had the best clap back to her loyal band of internet trolls. In an interview about the photo, she said, quote, Feminism is about giving women choice. Feminism is not a stick with which to beat other women with. It's about freedom, it's about liberation, it's about equality. I really don't know what my tits have to do with it. Well, that ought to shut them down. It just always reveals to me what a mis how many misconceptions and what a misunderstanding that there is of what feminism is. Feminism is about giving women choice. Feminism is not a stick with which to beat other women with. Concerning that same photo, Emma received hate about a condensed quote where she felt conflicted over Beyonce for calling herself a feminist while appealing to the male gaze. Emma quickly took to Twitter to post the full quote where she actually praises Queen Bee for being sexually empowering. Although she can laugh about her physical appearance, Emma has gotten her fair share of rude comments. But let it be known that haters will never shake her confidence. In an interview with Elle, she says, quote, I don't want to look like everyone else. I don't have perfect teeth. I'm not stick thin. I want to be the person who feels great in her body and can say that she loves it and doesn't want to change anything. All hail the queen. Do you remember what you wore? Oh, no. Do you want to see? <laughs> I don't know if I do. Oh, wow. Do you remember this wearing was, that? This was special. You know what, I do because I, you know, this was my first ever movie premiere. There's no doubt about it, feminism and Emma Watson totally go hand in hand. So when she was cast in a Disney princess role, the side eyes began rolling in. But just like her infamous Harry Potter character, Hermione Granger, Emma made sure that Belle would be portrayed as an inspiring, strong, smart female lead. We also wanted to give her this element of being quite industrious and quite practical and very inventive. So in the animation, Maurice is kind of the inventor, but in this movie, it's actually Belle. Like many women out there, Emma also gets unsolicited comments from men about what she should look like, lol. This was true when she chopped off her hair into a very cute pixie cut, and she definitely had her priorities straight. She commented, quote, the majority of boys around me were like, why did you do that? That's such an error and I was like well honestly I don't really care what you think I think I just needed a change you know I'd, I'd had my hair long for 10 years when I was playing Hermione and then when I finished filming I just I needed to I need to do something different. When it was announced that Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Hermione, would be portrayed by a non-white woman, people protested. But most certainly not Emma Watson, though. She shared touching photos with the actress behind the character and wrote, quote, having seen it, I felt more connected to Hermione and the stories. Meeting Noma and seeing her on stage was like meeting my older self and have her tell me everything was going to be all right. Haters may hate, 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 but Instead of weakening her, Emma says criticism has only made her tougher. While discussing being an activist and an actress in the March issue of LUK, Emma says, quote, It really toughened me up. It's difficult to hear criticism from people you consider your peers and who you believe are on the same side. But, you know, I just carried on. Nicely done, Emma. So now that we have counted down the ways Emma Watson has once again proved that she is full female badass material. I'm just curious to know what you guys think about how she is handling all this really weird hate. Be sure to share all your thoughts right on down here in the comments. When you're done with that, click right over here to watch all the times that Chrissy Teigen, another goddess, said what we wish we could. And as always, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for hanging out with me right here on Clever News. I'm your girl, Jocelyn Davis. I'll see you later.